We thank you now because you are the shepherd of our souls. Thank you now because you are healing and our help. You are righteousness. You are sanctifier. We want to thank you right now. Thank you for this wonderful privilege of fellowship. Thank you for the gathering together of your people right now for this conference. We ask now that you will grant your Shekinah glory to rest in this house. Grant the weightiness of your presence to be manifested here. Grant our hearts to be receptacles of truth. That truth will make us free. Touch and deliver here right now. You're meeting every need as every need need meeting. God, we've come today to worship you in spirit and in truth. We exalt you. And God, we thank you right now. We thank you for the manifestations. We thank you right now for the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for the Holy Ghost that will rule and reign. For he's the Holy See here to this day. God, we bind every spirit that is contrary to your word and to your will. We pray, God, that you will grant free course here for the Holy Ghost. Grant signs, wonders, and miracles to be manifested. And grant our hearts to be strangely warm this day. And God, we'll be careful to give you praise, glory, and honor. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God. Amen. God bless your praise team. Let's praise the Lord with the praise team. Remain standing. Let's praise him as with the praise difficult times and let's give him a thunderous ovation let's praise God for our leader our chairman our mentor Bishop John Henry Sheard come on come on come on He's so uniquely different. Love his church. Love his people. A great leader in the church of God in Christ. Give him another thunderous ovation. The Bishop John Henry Sheard and his staff. Well, God bless you. We're going to have a selection from the Combined Choir of Texas, of San Antonio, after which we will have the Old Testament scripture reading, the Bishop Willie E. Green, or C. Green, the New Testament scripture, Bishop Ara 
Patterson of Illinois. And then we will have our affirmation of faith, Bishop Robert L. Samper, Texas North Central. They will come in that order. The combined choir of San Antonio, what you sing for. <laughs> May we all stand for the reading of the word of the Lord. Second Chronicles chapter 7, beginning at verse number 10. And on the three and twentieth day of the seventh month, he sent the people away into their tents, glad and merry in heart for the goodness that the Lord had showed unto David and to Solomon and to Israel, his people. 
Thus Solomon finished the house of the Lord and the king's house, and all that came into Solomon's heart to make in the house of the Lord and in his own house he prosperously affected. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and have chosen this place to myself for a house of sacrifice. If I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. The word of the Lord for the people of God. From the epistle to the Roman church, from the fifth chapter of Romans, verses 1 through 8. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commended his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The word of the Lord is blessed. We are believers, therefore we do affirm and I ask you to join with me now as we to, together repeat our affirmation of faith. Our belief concerning the Bible. Our belief concerning God. Our belief concerning the church. Our belief concerning sin. Our belief concerning salvation. Our belief concerning Christ. Our belief concerning the Holy Ghost. And our belief concerning sanctification. We believe that sanctifying power. Christian is able to live a holy and separated life in this present world. Amen. You may be seated. In the Old Testament, there was a saying and a designation of a particular service. They called it the tent of meetings. It was a place where the children of Israel had tents. And in the evening, they would come out of their tent and get under a cloud 
the Shekinah glory. Scripture does not call it the Shekinah glory, but we believe it was. And when they got under that cloud, it was not only a place where the people met God, but it was a place where God met the people. And as we sit here tonight, how many people need to know that you need an encounter with God, that you need to God to meet you where you are, and whatever your needs are, whatever you're going through, somebody shout and say, he can do it. He can fix whatever you're trying to fix. The Lord can do it. Has anybody in here ever been healed? Raise your hand. Just raise your hand. Just and give him praise. Give him praise. I will welcome in occasion the Bishop Ron Gibson, the money of Republican. Come on, Bishop. Thank you, Bishop Jones. Welcome, everyone. The Bible says how good and how pleasant it is for brothers and sisters to dwell together in unity. And you, you can't help but feel welcomed in such a warm church as this one. And so we would like to commend Pastor the Bishop Iglehart for opening his doors and allowing us to come in to such a beautiful facility. Let's put our hands together and thank God for the host pastor who hosted this church and allowed us to come and have our service here tonight. Give an honor to our chairman, Bishop Sheard, his beautiful wife, and the constituents of his cabinet. We greet you all with Jesus' joy. We had some wonderful sessions. I particularly enjoyed the session that I was involved in. Today we came together and we began to confer and exchange notes. It's just good every now and then for pastors to get away from the rigors of their local churches and everybody's calling you and wanting something from you. Sometimes it's good to get away and talk to other pastors. You can compare notes. You can say, I sat where you sat and this is how you do it. But whatever we do, whatever position we have, how, it doesn't matter how large our churches are, what our, our bankroll is. The Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. This is our occasion. This is why we're here. Not here to see who has the biggest church, who has the most jewelry, the nicest clothes. We're here to seek God. I think the gentleman who opened the scripture said it so poignantly today. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, the fervent effectual prayers of the righteous availeth much. Men ought to always pray. Whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. This is our occasion. Our bishop wanted us to come together so we can get our burdens lifted. We can cast all of our cares upon him. We can encourage one another. We're a college of bishops. We're like iron sharpening iron. When we look at what's happening in our world today, the hurricane that's sweeping across the land, Satan is called the prince of the air. And the Bible says whatever we bind on earth, this is why we're here, to get our marching orders, to get our agenda, to follow our leader, and the inspiration that God has given him to come together. Wasn't it wonderful how the enemy tried to block us in one city and the Lord opened the door for another city? For we know that all things work together for good to those that love the Lord, to those who are the called according to his purpose. And that's why we're here, my brothers, to pray for the people who are less fortunate. I was talking to a lot of pastors in Houston, a couple of pastors whose church was destroyed in the hurricane. And I know the people in the Dominican where I served, they were very vulnerable as well uh, regarding the hurricane. Was it uh, uh, Henry? Uh, what was the name? Uh, Harvey? And then it was Irma? And then Jose? We say, no way, Jose. Amen. We bind that in Jesus' name. The Bible says, whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Let's not forget about the people in Mexico. We are a multicultural, multi-ethnic church. We're international. Let's remember the hurting people in Mexico. They had an 8.1 earthquake week before last. They just had a 7.2 earthquake on yesterday. So let's remember the people who are suffering. And that's what we're here for, to pray. Amen. Let's keep the president in our prayers. That's why we're here, to keep the main thing the main thing. Thank you for this opportunity, Bishop Sheard. I love you with the love of the Lord. Have a wonderful evening. God bless you. Thank you.
God for the Caban Choir. Let's honor and recognize the presidium of our church. The Bishop P.A. Brooks, our first vice president. God bless you. Bishop Cedric Daniels, the secretary of the board, and Bishop Wooten, the assistant secretary. The Bishop Nathaniel Wells, God bless you. The Bishop J. Drew Sheehan, the Bishop Brindam Porter, God bless you. The Bishop Ted Thomas, the Bishop William Matthews Williams, God bless. Let's give him a thunderous applaud. This is the board of directors, the presidium, the general board of our church. God bless you. We're so happy for the wonderful ladies here tonight. Mother Willie Mae Sheehan is the chairman of the bishops. Why, she looks so pretty tonight. And Sister Karen Sheehan, God bless, and all of the lovely ladies. Let's give our ladies a wonderful applaud. And all of the wives of our bishops. God bless, we're going to present a person who has pulled this together as the chairman of the Board of Bishops, the Bishop Gabbard. He has done a fantastic job, had some health challenges, but God has brought him back and we're so pleased to have him back with us. Let's say amen for Bishop Gabbard. God bless you, Bishop Jones. We certainly give honor to the Spirit of Christ on tonight, thanking him for his healing power, thanking him for his goodness and for his mercy. Amen. We have already acknowledged, amen, collectively, amen, the presidium of our great church, amen. But help me to have appreciate them again. We thank God for them being in our midst on tonight, led by Bishop Brooks. Give them all a round of applause. Amen. And certainly to the greatest chairman, amen, in the world, the chairman John Henry Shear. Say amen for him. God bless you. We certainly thank God for you. We thank God for all of this quorum of bishops and these all these first ladies, amen, here. Let's give these ladies, Mother Sheard, and all these great ladies a round of applause. Amen. And that beautiful lady sitting on the end over there, amen. I know she looks like she's about 23, but, but, but we've been married 50, 53 years. Amen. I robbed the cradle. Amen. <laughs> I robbed the cradle. God is good, and we're grateful. This has been a glorious conference. This has been a glorious conference, and we've come, amen, tonight, amen, to the zenith of the meeting when we have an opportunity to hear, amen, from our chairman. And we think of, we're waiting, waiting with great anticipation. But prior to that, we are so grateful for these area bishops, amen, who have, amen, agreed to come under and underwrite <laughs> the expense of this conference. They love our chairman, and we certainly thank God for them. And these Texas bishop, bishops are coming uh, at this time. They're going to make their presentation to the chairman. We're going to ask all of them that they would come to the platform. We thank God for Bishop Bryant, amen, and certainly Bishop Heidelhardt, who has opened the doors of this magnificent sanctuary. Say amen for him. Amen. Say amen for him. And all the Texas bishops are coming, amen, our chairman. And certainly these supporting uh, jurisdictions, Louisiana, Arkansas, and those supporting bishops are coming. Amen. Our chairman is coming. Amen. Bishop Porter is going to let him come first. We certainly thank God for these men who understand leadership and understand, amen, the support of the church. Isn't this wonderful? Uh, Chairman Sheard is coming. Come right up, Chairman Sheard. Come right up. They will make these presentations to our chairman. God bless you. God bless you. Bishop Porter will lead. Thank you. 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 Thank you
thank you, thank you, and God bless each of you, and certainly to our chairman. Um, these men are looking at me like I'm from Tennessee. I know I am. Trust me, I know I am. But I am on assignment by the general board, residing bishop, uh, for some time now in Texas, and some of the greatest people in the world are in Texas. Amen. So I'm proud to stand with these great leaders tonight. Um, and it's no secret, but you know of the journeys of Texas Southeast First, Bishop. And thank you for your support, especially as long as I've been here as well. And then, as you also know, that there are two um, fellowships that the General Board has recommended to uh, the uh, General Assembly, but have not yet been approved. So they're not obligated to give in this meeting but they want to lend their support. Amen? So I want them to be noted as well. I'm going to ask Bishop Thompson to present uh, Texas Southeast first, and then Dr. Uh, Bishop Johnny Tates. Where is he? Come on up, Bishop Tates. And then Dr. Destra Bell is going to come, and then they can make their presentations as well. God bless you, sir. Thank you. God bless you, Bishop. Texas Southeast first, $2,000. Greater Texas Southeast first, $2,000. All of Texas Gulf Coast, Texas, $2,000. Bishop Sheard, we love the Board of Bishops and we love the Church of God in Christ. And Texas love the Church of God in Christ. If I may have a personal moment. This year marks the 104th year that Texas has been an organized denomination in the Church of God in Christ. Bishop Page, our first overseer, was with Bishop Mason in the first General Assembly ever organized of the Church of God in Christ. So we're delighted to share in this expense. From the Texas South Central Jurisdiction, where I am the prelate, $2,100. And from Bishop Warren Lawson, Texas Western Fellowship Jurisdiction, $2,000. Bishop William H. Watson in Texas Northwest, $2,000. Bishop David Houston, the senior bishop, the great state of Texas. <laughs> Texas Northeast, number two, $2,000. God bless you. Beautiful. Amen. Bishop Sheard, Texas Lone Star Jurisdiction, Represents with two thousand dollars. I bless you, Bishop Shields, Nathaniel, the Anthony, David Wells, Texas Northeast Fourth, and the men of that state represent with two thousand dollars. Bishop Shields, Texas Central Metropolitan Jurisdiction, Bishop. Frank E. Thaniel, Sr., Prelate, Mother Gladys Lockett Ross, Supervisor, $2,000. Chairman Sheard, we've been saying it all week. Welcome to Texas Southwest. Certainly on behalf of what I believe is the greatest bishop in the world, the Bishop S.C. Aguilhart, and Texas Southwest, $2,000. God bless you, Bishop Sheard. I'm Bishop Nelson Gatlin, Texas Northeast, third jurisdiction, $2,000. God bless you. you Take sir. it out of your baby. Bishop Sheard, take to these $2,000. Bishop Orion. Bishop Sheard, we want to thank you for allowing us to be the baby in this bunch. And we're not walking good. We're just crawling and trying to get there. But we managed to give 2000 
Bishop Seward, Adele Thomas Jr. It's our pleasure. Texas Southeast second, two thousand dollars. Let's give all of these bishop, bishops a round of applause for their concern and their support. Amen. To our great chairman and the board of bishops. Come on, give it to them. Give it to them. We thank God for them. Thank God for each of them. Amen. The Lord bless you. Amen. We thank God. In just a few moments, we'll have the opportunity to hear from one of the greatest leaders in the world. We thank God for Bishop Sheard for his accomplishments. He is a God, man of God. He's a consummate preacher, consummate pastor. He's the holder of four earned degrees. He leads the Board of Bishops, amen, to heights never before attained. And we thank God for his leadership. He's a family man. He pastors the greater Mitchell Temple Church of God in Christ in Detroit, Michigan. He is the jurisdictional prelate, amen, of the Michigan Southwest First. He is a consummate leader, and we thank God for his leadership, amen. Every bishop, amen, in the church, amen, honors and respects his, his leadership, and we thank God for them. Yes, and uh, we certainly thank God for his leadership, and then momentarily we're going to hear the words from his lips. The sermonic selection tonight, just prior to Bishop coming, will be from his own daughter, a man, the lovely Karen Clark Sheard. We thank God for her. For her. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Let's hear Sister Sheard, and then we will stand and receive Bishop Sheard as he comes and blesses our hearts on tonight. God bless you. Give her a round of applause that she comes. She's the darling of this church. We love her. We love her. a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the Oh God, 
presence of the Lord. The presence of the Lord is here. just worship you. We honor your sweet name. You're mighty God. There's none like you nowhere. Oh, we want to hear your voice. Let your presence mm, have the right of way in the house. Move by your spirit. Move by your power. Show up, God. Show your hand of deliverance. Oh, somebody's waiting on you. We're walking in the need of prayer. We need you right now. Show up, God. We need you to speak. We need to hear your voice. I want to hear your voice, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Speak to us, Jesus. Speak, Lord, speak. We need to hear your voice. Speak, Lord, speak. We need a mighty move in the house. Thank you, Lord. Show your hand of deliverance. Oh, speak to us, Jesus. Send a word. Send a word that will deliver. Send a word that will set free. Oh, for your word is sharper than a two-edged sword. Oh, speak to us, God. Oh, oh, speak to us, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I'm not making another move until I hear your voice. Yes, God. I need you to show up, God, in our lives. Hallelujah. Show up in our churches, God. Oh, oh, show up in our land. Yes, God. We need you in the White House. Yes, we do. We need you. We need a mighty, 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 Oh, speak to us, Jesus. Yes, God. I'm not making another move until I hear your voice. Hey, when you speak, the enemy got to back off. No weapon. No weapon. Show up, God. Yes, God. Speak to our heart. Speak to the sin of man. Yeah. We need you, Lord. Oh, we're not moving nowhere until the enemy got to go. Get out of our house. Satan, you got to go. Because the presence of the Lord is in this place.
you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, dear Lord, for your protection. Thank you for the ways you made, for the doors you've opened, for the bodies you've healed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You've been a good God. You brought us from a long ways. Our souls say yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Touch us. Touch us. Touch us. Touch. In the name of Jesus, all powers in your hand. You know what we need. You got what we need. Heal our bodies and save our souls. In the name of Jesus, rebuke the powers of darkness. Send the curse away. Let your people rejoice. We'll say yeah. My soul say yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bless the leadership, bless the leadership. Touch our bishop and touch your people everywhere. Come on, help me say everywhere. Say everywhere. One by one and name by name. We'll give your name the praise, the glory, and all of the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. He's a wonder in my soul. He's a wonder in my soul. He's a wonder in my soul. Bless his name is a wonder in my soul. He is a wonder in my soul. He is a wonder. In my soul, his name. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Jesus, bless his name, thank God for Jesus, thank God for Jesus, Tell the Lord, thank you. Come on, I didn't say you're paper boy. Now tell the Lord, thank you. Come on, tell the Lord, thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise. Come on, say it. Say, say to your neighbor, look, look, look over your shoulder and say, look, look, where he brought us from. Brought us from a long way. Brought us out of darkness into this marvelous light. That's why I continue to say, ain't nobody 
Nobody, nobody like Jesus. Say yes. Say yes. Praise him, praise him. Come on, say it again. Nobody, nobody like Jesus. Tell the Lord, thank you, thank you. Oh, bless you. What a privilege. What a privilege I have. I'm, I'm a long ways from where I started. Yeah, long ways. The Lord is good. You know, I used to hear the old people say, uh, can't nobody do me like Jesus. And they used to remind me to take a look back and look where the Lord brought you from. He brought me from a long, say a long way. Tell the Lord, thank you. Take your seat, take your seat, sir. Uh, my respect and uh, uh, to the first assistant presiding bishop of our great church, Bishop Brooks, amen. God bless you. And to the general board of our church at Presidium, we certainly glad you came to be with us. I said, the Lord brought me from a long way. Is there anybody here who has not seen a miracle? Is there anybody here who has seen a miracle? Here it is, here it is. Here it is. I'm a miracle, I'm a miracle. God bless you. I shall never be able to pay the Lord for what he did for me. Took me from my car to intensive care and from there to operating room for eight hours and let me stay in the hospital for five days. And I got out. And uh, what you see is what you got. I said, the Lord is good, isn't he? God bless you. Uh, I, I was attacked with two of the number one killers. And I left them both way behind. Yeah. Well, y'all to, to help me celebrate. When you go, when you go, when you go to a birthday party, it's not your party, it's the party for those who invited you. And since uh, you were invited, y'all to help me celebrate, it didn't happen to you. Come on, tell the Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you. Praise God. God bless you. My single emphatic thanks to my friend and brother, uh, the Bishop Samuel Igerhart. Come on, give it. Him again. Yeah, he could have made several excuses, I'm sure, but right away, with humor and enthusiasm, he told me, Come on, man, I'm gonna put my ushers together. We're gonna get this thing adjusted, and uh, we're going through with it. Nobody caused it, the Lord permitted it to happen. And said, so Nobody's mad with anybody, are they? All right, the Lord could have. Uh, you can't make lemonade out of all that water. So, all right, God bless. God bless. I have been favored by the church. I have been favored by the church and by the men of our church to, uh, to have been elected. I wasn't appointed. I was elected by you all. Yeah, and of course, uh, of the chairman of this great board of our great church for the fourth term. I am highly favored and honored. All right, God bless you. Uh, I have working close to me some of the finest men God has ever let live in the person of uh, the Bishop Albert Galbraith. Yeah. The Bishop Roger L. Jones, the Bishop William Watson, the Bishop Adrian William, and of course, uh, the entire executive board, the, the Bishop Felton Smith, the Bishop, yes, Bishop, 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 Cody Marshall, 
Bishop David Houston, Bishop Ernie Morris, he'll make a man cry. Uh, Bishops uh, Scriven, Bishop uh, Benjamin Collin, Bishop McClendon from Wisconsin, uh, Bishop uh, Martin Luther uh, Johnson, Bishop Martin Luther King, oh, Bishop Martin, <laughs> Bishop Martin, Bishop Cahoon, and all of these great men who, uh, yeah. The chairman of the General Assembly, my other added son, barely, he got on the list. He got on my list. Yeah, he's one of my older sons. I'm talking, I'm talking. Yeah. Uh, God bless you, brother. Yeah, brother Jerry Maynard, the vice chairman of the General Assembly. God bless you. All of you all are so dear, the music department. You could have uh, taken a vacation this week, but you didn't because you wouldn't. And so I certainly appreciate you. Give our choir a hand. All right. You may as well sympathize with me, and you can't empathize because you're not up here. And, of course, uh, there's no point you waiting, acting like I'm a mute, a, a movie projector because I ain't. And so if I get it right, I want to hear you say amen. amen. Come on, repeat. Brother Paul's writing Galatians 6 and 7, be not deceived. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Go to sleep on me, we're going to sleep on you. All right. Good God, if I was, if I was that greater Mitchell Temple, that church that the Lord blessed me with, if I was that greater Mitchell, I would first declare, no phones a lie. None. And don't camouflage and say you're reading the scripture. I even, I, I got them best on that. Put your Bibles away and listen. Trust me. I'm going to read it right. <laughs> Is that all right? God bless all of you. I appreciate your kind deeds you have given to me, the acts of kindness. Everywhere I look, I see somebody smiling at me, and that helps a person. Uh, people don't like to be stared at. I find people staring at me. I, I get a grace period. Step off. I say, what you want, man? What you want? Why you up on my heels looking at me? What you looking at? What you want? I do. I declare myself. Give me my territory. <laughs> Am I right, somebody? God oh, bless you. I got two wonderful blood sons. One is the superintendent, Ethan Sheard, who is absolutely like his mother. I, I believe if I had to give him another name, I'd name him Willie. Yeah, just like I said. And of course, I got the other son is just like me. Come on, come on, say the Bishop John Drew Sheard. Yeah, God bless you. God bless. I have a wonderful, wonderful wife for 61 years, two months, and I can do better than Bishop Walker used to do. I can tell you the day. I remember the day. I remember the hour. I remember all of that. God bless you. Wave, wave your hand. That's my wife. 61 years. 61 years. I'm not going to be long. I'm not going to be long. My time is over half up already. Yeah, I waited all this time for this opportunity. Yeah. Uh, 61 years. Somebody should have thought of a start. And when we come to a setting like this, some of you dignitaries should have put a star in my forehead for having stayed with a nice lady for 61 years. Yeah, yeah. God bless you. God bless the committee 
that correlated these activities, was so beautiful, correlated these activities. My niece, Bernita, is Bernita in here? Bernita, my other sister, Elta, Mother Elta Reen Shear. Yeah, it's beautiful. And then all of my other sons, the superintendent, uh, uh, Superintendent LaVell Whitaker, and good God Almighty. And then uh, my son, Secretary Watson, got you didn't know it, did you? And you got a, you on the list. Yeah, you own that both ways too. All right, so all of these younger men who so willingly uh, drive me everywhere. And I thought I could still do it. You did too, but you can't. So I thought I could do it. I sat there and I tell myself I'm not going to sleep. And uh, when I know anything, Superintendent Lavelle Whitaker and my nephew, uh, Pastor Arnold Shear, I've been asleep an a, a hour and a half. And they, they, they driving me 75 and 80. And where are we? I don't know where I am. That's a blessing, isn't it? Yeah, God bless you. I love all of you. Now, uh, I believe I got uh, grandchildren, great grandchildren. I'm so glad for them, and I'm glad to be here. And Bishop Bailey would say, and I'm glad for myself. <laughs> uh, Superintendent Marcus Ways, the, the uh, music man, ain't nobody in the world can outplay Robert Moore. Come on, John Boyd, give me a hand. Oh, y'all got to clap better than that. I ain't scared of y'all. <laughs> Administrative assistant Marcus Ways and uh, Superintendent Cheney and uh, Elder Minor and Superintendent. Uh, Waverly Bumbry and all of my grown up sons who have been promoted to administrative assistants and uh, superintendents. We're so uh, glad for them. They treat me like I'm a saint. They treat me like I'm their father. God bless you. Give them a great big hand. <laughs> all of the previous incidents we have encountered those people who profess to be just religious and who denounce the existence of God, I'm sure we have another percentage by now that would say there is a God somewhere. Yeah. I don't think we need anything else. After so long, my mother and father would whip me and I said, I did it, I did it, I believe it, I believe it. I'm not gonna do it anymore. I think by now, we ought to raise our hand in recognition that there is a God somewhere. Tell the Lord, thank you. And so Romans 8 and a couple of verses, just a few, two verses, they read it thus. For what the law could not do, that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sin for flesh, and for sin condemn sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. May the Lord add the blessing to the reading of his word. And come on, repeat after me, the inability, the inability. of the law. Say it another way. The law couldn't do it. Say that when The law couldn't do it. For what the law, God bless you, Karen. You know you mind. Yeah. For what the law could not do in that, it was weak through the flesh. God did what the law could not do. And so our text presents to us uh, this evening, uh, a condensed view of uh, the plan of redemption, an outline of what glorious scheme by 
which salvation was effected for our fallen world. Notice, notice, if you please, in the apostles' writing, the inefficiency of the law expressed what, what the law could not do. By the law in the text uh, is evidently meant the moral law, but it also includes every other law, the atomic and the ceremonial. The inefficiency of the law relates to man's restoration. The law has no ability to save the transgressor. All that the law can do is to be a rule of life, prove of the perfectly obedient, bind over the transgressor to the, uh, receive the affliction, infliction, uh, the just penalty denounced. It cannot, the law cannot accept of imperfect obedience. It cannot wink at iniquity. It cannot accept repentance cannot mitigate any of his claims. And more especially, he cannot pardon the guilty. Man, by all means, requires someone somewhere at some time to remove the guilt, or he must perish forever. Uh, the extreme verdict, the soul that sin it shall die. Uh, John presents its verdict so plainly in his revelation by saying, in particular, all liars, all homongers, all adulterers shall have their part in the lake that continues to burn with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Am I right, somebody? I want to acknowledge, I want to announce, regardless of how astute one is, regardless of how much influence he or she has gained, regardless of how popular your family lineage, regardless of how much expertise one has, the law can't save you. Uh, the law, it, it could not remove the impurity of the soul. The law is totally unacquainted with any remedy for the depravity which transgressors has produced. It is very strikingly personified in, in, in the priests and the Levites who pass by on the other side. It could not uh, restore man from his alienated state of adoption. Uh, no, rather, having uh, expelled the delinquent from the peaceful retreat of Eden, it, it, it it couldn't do it. It placed at the entrance cherubims and flaming sword to keep the way of the tree of life. Yeah, the law, the law could not prevent uh, the full infliction of the full penalty. There is no disposition in the law to prevent it. It, it delivers the debtor to the officer and consigns him to prison for, uh, from which it possesses neither will nor ability to release him until he has paid the utmost penalty. And this inability arises from the weakness of the flesh. Uh, that is, the fallen, depraved state of man. It was able to do all it was designed to prove and reward the obedient, but, but when uh, it became weak by transgression, it ceased to possess any ability to promote his well-being. All unrighteousness is sin. Tell the Lord, thank you. After the effectiveness of the law uh, had ceased to produce glorious expedient which God adopted. What the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. God, somebody say God. God by the sending of his own son has done. God displayed 
his unique mercy, God, who expressed his concern uh, for fallen man. God allowed his son uh, to abdicate his royal splendor, come down in the midst of us and, uh, and erase our sin and reconnected us back to him. Nobody can do me like Jesus. Tell the Lord, thank you. So the author of this expedient God, the creator of the world, the ruler, the ruler of the universe, is the source of our redemption. From him it emanated. He pitied, he devised the scheme and brought salvation. Oh, God recognized man was uh, unable to do what needed to be done. He had gone to a point of no return. Then we have God, God, so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. He, the blessed agent, was employed not sending one of his sons in a general sense, but in a most especially dignified sense. His only son, his only begotten son, co-eternal with the Father, equal in the power, equal in authority, glory, heirs of the world, and Lord of all, God over all and blessed forevermore. He delight to come to do the will of God. His delight uh, was with the children of men. Uh, he came freely and cheerfully of his own love and grace. He unrobed himself and abdicated his royal splendor. He took on the form and in the likeness of sinful flesh. Made of a woman, God manifest his love in the flesh. God, God, God. You did do it. God manifest in the flesh. He became the kinsman of those who came to redeem in the form of the flesh yet not sinful, came to condemn sin in the flesh. His holy conception condemned the origin of sin. Tell the Lord, yeah. His spotless life condemned the practice of sin. His suffering and death condemned sin. Jesus paid it all. Yeah, all oh, to him we owe. Somebody say, yeah, tell the Lord, yeah. The songwriter said, I was thinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful show, very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea, Heard my despairing cry from the water. He lifted me and now saved him. God, God, say God. Tell the Lord, yeah, his suffering yeah, and death condemned sin. God sent his son in the flesh that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. All of us who believe in him will justify from all things. Tell the Lord, yeah. Heard Paul say, therefore, being justified by faith, we've got peace with God 
Oh, yes, sir. And the question is asked, what can wash away my sin? Nothing, nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me oh again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white white as snow no other fault i know help me said nothing nothing but the blood of jesus what you need god's got it yeah 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 tell the lord yeah i hear paul talk the good but i would I do not, but the evil which I would not, that I do. Tell the Lord, yeah, there's something within me that when I would do good, evil dwelleth in me. I find that there is a law that when I do good, Evil is present. I delight in the law of God after the inward man. But I see, I see another law working in my members, warring against the law of my mind to bring me into captivity. The law of sin which is in my member. Oh, wretched man. Tell me, oh yeah. Wretched man that I am. Who can deliver me from the body of this death? And there is, therefore, no condemnation to them that are in Christ who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit, tell the Lord, yeah, I ask you again, what the, what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, tell the Lord, yeah, for the law of the spirit of Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Yes, sir. By grace are you saved through faith that not of yourself. It is the gift of God. Not your skills. Not your lineage. Not your influence. Not your position. But God commended his love. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. God commended his love. I got to close. But the songwriter looked back in retrospect. Said, oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sin and grief to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Say, yeah, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know if thou would draw thyself from me. Where the shall I go? It was at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now I'm happy all the way. I want to know 
I came to Jesus just as I was. We are at that morning sand. I found in him a resting place. He made me glad. He's a burden bearer. He's a heavy old chair. He's a mind fixer. He's a doctor in intensive care. He's a giver of rest. He's everything. Every, every, everything I need. He's water in dry places. He's a safe lander. He's a burden bearer. He's the answer to my problem. When I'm weak, he makes me strong. When I'm sick, he heals me. When I'm hungry, he feeds me. What a friend, I'm so glad. I found him and I'm glad. Tell the Lord, yeah, say yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, give him a praise. Come on, give the Lord a praise for just a moment. Put your hands together. Put your feet on the floor and give God a praise. My Lord. There, my God from Zion, now there is a hurt in the house. My assignment is to Bring those of you who have heard the word to the altar for altar call. Did not our hearts burn as the man of God, our chairman, spoke to us by the way? We would not come to San Antonio and not allow God to save, heal, and deliver. Touch someone and say, God can save, heal, and deliver. This is why we have bishops from all over the country who gathered here. And if you're here tonight and you have a problem if you're not saved, if you're here tonight and if you are sick in your body, if you're here tonight and you have a problem, that you want God to solve, we want to invite you to the altar. On last night, my wife became ill, and you prayed for her. And I thank God she's here tonight. Amen. We took her to the emergency room, and they stuck her at least seven times trying to get blood until they say, we're not going to do it anymore. I'm glad they did because I was about to lay hands the next time. But God healed her. And if you are here tonight, God can heal you. If you're here tonight, God can save you. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, what do you need from the Lord? If you need it, the Lord have it. I want to invite you to just come to the altar and lay you all on the altar. If you're here tonight and you need prayer, Please come right now. I'm only going to take a minute. Come very quickly. I pray for you if you need prayer. Anybody need prayer, come right now. Come on, come on. He's a healer. He is a deliverer. If you need it, if you need it, come down. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for those who have come. We thank you for a mighty and a powerful word. 
coming from the mouth of our leader. God, we pray first of all that you will replenish and strengthen him. God, continue to touch him and open the doors for him. And now, Lord, we pray that you will touch those who are on the altar for ever, whatever reason they are on the altar. Heal them, save them, deliver them, bless them, and we give your name praise, and we give your name glory, and we thank you now. Let the church say amen. Now let's give God some praise. Come on, praise.